the town again out by the park because I like to watch the kids play there and, and the old folks sit around and talk and lie to each other. I noticed that one little old boy there was really playing hard and his daddy was sitting over there just watching him and enjoying it very much there apparently. And then there was some old lady that went there and sat down next to him and and he, he says to her, he said, you could tell he was proud. He said, look at there, that's my little boy in the, in the red sweater. Right now he's the one on the slide. And she says, he's a fine looking boy. <laughs> and the man says, well, I thought so too. And then she says, but that's my son on the swing in the, the blue sweater. And the man says, well, he's a good looking boy too. And then a man looks at his watch and he yells out to his boy and says, Hey, what do you say we go now, honey? And old Todd says, No, Dad, just five more minutes, please, five more minutes. <laughs> I thought, that kid begging his daddy. But doggone, his daddy says, Okay, five more minutes. Well, that was nice of his dad. And the kid really started swinging hard then and wasn't long. And the daddy stood up again and he says to his son, Hey, Let's go now. Five minutes is up. And then the kid says, but dad, I'm really just getting started. Watch me for maybe the next five minutes. The old man smiles. He says, okay. <laughs> and then the lady says, well, you're really a patient father, but don't you think you're spoiling that boy? And this is what that man said. And it really made sense to me. He said, well... My oldest son, Tommy, was killed by a drunk last year, a drunk driver, while he was riding his bicycle. And, you know, I never spent much time with Tommy, and now I'd give anything for that's with him, and so I ain't going to make the same mistake with Todd. <laughs> he thinks he has five more minutes to swing and play. <laughs> the truth is... I get five more minutes to watch him play. You know, that's something I've all known for a long time. Life is all about making priorities. And I think everybody ought to reconsider their priorities. How about today? Let's give somebody you love just five more minutes of your time. Adios, compadres. Talk to you next week.